Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, thank you for choosing Overanalyze Adventures. And thank you for watching the epic conclusion of Damn Virgins. To get you up to speed, we basically need to fix a car up so we can win some drag race and get some money so we can go to Mexico and get killed. Okay? Okay. Fabulous, isn't it? Alright, let's go ahead and kick this puppy off. So we're in Hugo's clown-themed room. And if you're wondering who Hugo is, we don't know who Hugo is right now. Eventually, though, it will be uncovered and the truth is kind of lame. But nevertheless, we're here to steal stuff because this is a point-and-click adventure game. And that's what you do. <laughs> So we've collected a car battery, some sleeping pills, and a credit card. Sounds like we're ready for an epic night. Now that we got all these items in hand, we might as well go ahead and use them. First of all, we're going to use a credit card to send money to a fish that we met online and we've been corresponding with for our fish buddy so that he can have a fish girlfriend because, well, even fish need love. So we send the credit card details over the internet to her, and then sure enough, we get a reply. ¿Qué es ese ruido? Parece que viene de la terraza. Well, let's check it out, shall we? Un momento. ¿Qué ven mis ojos? ¿Y Gorina? Esto es una muñeca hinchable. Nos han estafado. ¿Qué debo hacer? ¿Se lo digo a Igor? All right, so this game has a moral choice system in it. Uh, no, it has a moral choice system in it. I had to repeat that because even I didn't believe it. But is it really a moral choice or is it just more like a decision that leads to two different endings? Actually, yeah, it's the latter. It's just a decision that leads to two different endings. And why am I repeating myself so much? But anyway, you can go ahead and tell Igor that his girlfriend's actually just a blown up doll. Or you could not tell him and just carry on playing the game. I decided to tell him because I didn't realize this was a decision that would lead to a different ending. Again, there I am repeating myself. Igor... Tenemos que hablar. ¿Es por Igorina? ¿Ha llegado ya? Igorina no va a venir. ¿Pero por qué, Xavi? Me estoy portando súper bien. Eso no es del todo cierto, pero no importa. Igorina ha muerto. ¿Qué significa morir? ¿Te acuerdas cuando te estropeaste y Bernardo te arregló? Morir es algo que ni el mismo Bernardo puede arreglar. Entiendo. Ahora... Necesito estar solo. Pobre Gorina. Damn it, I hate to see a fish cry. It always gets me every <laughs> but anyway, now that we've made our decision, we can go ahead and carry on playing the game by attaching the battery to the car, and then, oh look, we get a cutscene of the boys on their hot date. Let's go ahead and watch that. It's fabulous. Why did I say it's fabulous? Am I, like, I'm just saying words at this point. <laughs> Well, looks like someone might be losing their virginity tonight. You go get him, tiger. I'm doing the hand gesture he did, but you can't see it. He's my idol now. Pues sí, como lo oís. Este sábado tenemos una carrera. Es súper ilegal. No le tengamos a la muerte. Míralos. Qué guapos están todos. Especialmente Bruno, eh? Sí, Bruno. Como brilla. This is Bruno, by the way. He's a guy with a hilarious wig. Or well, maybe that's his real hair. And if that is his real hair, he really needs to join 80s style hair metal band. Si piensan que van a perder la virginidad hoy, lo llevan claro. Menos mal que he traído mi cerbatana de bolsillo. <laughs> Precisamente ahora tenemos a dos mecánicos preparando el bolido. Beso, beso. ¿Pero qué hacemos la cena del beso? ¿Por qué no haces la cena en la que te mueres? Beso. <laughs> Oh! 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 
Señor, señor, ahí va. All right, do you really need my commentary to explain what just happened there? Because that was one of the most absurd things I've ever seen in a video game. I mean, seriously, a blow dart gun? Come on, am I supposed to believe there's that much range on it that could hit that guy? Gosh, this game's really breaking my sense of immersion. But anyway, all we need to do now to get the car going is get a tire, and to get a tire, we have to go to a junkyard island through a balloon that we make by attaching the rubber ducky to some gas tank and then attaching the box that a blow of fish doll came into it, and ta-da, instant hot air balloon. And now we make our way over the junkyard island and get a tire for the car. Ah, eh, es, espera, espera, Bernardo. Cálmate, que así no te entiendo. Escúchame. Tranquilidad. ¿Qué pasa? Es que es que Igor está muy mal. Está muy triste. Tenemos que llevarle el veterinario cuanto antes. No, si es que, si es que ahora mismo me pillas fatal de tiempo, ¿vale? Pero, pero, es, es, tengo mucho lío. Pero, por favor, Alex, que es debido a muerte. Eh, sí, que vivir ya? Eh, sí. Por favor, eh, por favor, por favor, bueno, por favor, venga. Por favor, necesitamos. Si es que, ¿Sabes una cosa? Creo que os, os estoy mimando demasiado, ¿eh? Vale. Ahora nos vemos. Gracias, tito, Alex. Bueno, es que Encima de suspenderlos muy cretinos, ahora empiezan a gastar mi tiempo, mi valioso tiempo. ¿Qué se está agotando? Paco, vuelve a tu cueva. Luego seguiremos con la representación. Malditos vírgenes. Mosita Vernes, I'm trying, folks, I'm trying. But anyway, we on Stinky Island now, and we're here to get a tire. So we walk up the hill, and oh no, there's a dog there. How the hell are we gonna get past this thing? Hopefully not with any Monkey Island references. Como si nada, no lo entiendo. En aquella aventura gráfica de piratas, esto no pasaba. Ah, the references, and that's why I'm taking all this game in good fun, because it references another better game. So obviously these guys have played good games before and they know what they're supposed to be like, so this is just them having fun, alright? It's a tongue-in-cheek sort of experience, so let's enjoy it and read some bedtime stories to a dog. I kid you not. We're reading bedtime stories to a dog. Érase una vez unos cachorritos que vivían muy felices en una pradera. se dieron cuenta de que no eran cachorritos, eran lobitos. Fin. Wonderbar. I mean, how do you say wonderful in Spanish? Hold on, let me Google this. Maverioso. We now wander around a maze that's actually an underground cave and find items and then eventually make our way to a troll who decides he doesn't like us because he's on strike like that other game, Simon the Sorcerer. Oh gosh, I'm getting flashbacks already. It's like PTSD for adventure gamers. Oh, well, you play some Monkey Island after this. Okay, just got done playing through the special edition. All right, real talk now. This part of the game is actually pretty fun. Yeah, the camera's terrible. And yeah, it makes wandering around the maze a rather miserable experience. But beyond the terrible angles that you'll be looking at this maze with, the puzzles contained within it are pretty damn solid. You're gonna have to do a little bit of thinking, nothing too hard. Mostly just wander about, stumbling across items, and then eventually figuring out that, hey, maybe some of these items I can use somewhere else I just randomly stumbled upon. It's not a terribly big maze, but it will take you a good, you know, 10, 50 minutes to get your bearings and actually know where everything is. But once you get that, you'll have some pretty good puzzles to solve. Yeah, that's the review we bit of this video. Sorry, let's go indulge ourselves with an interesting cutscene. Oh no, the troll's after us. What are we gonna do? Oh, we're just gonna pull down the bridge when he crosses. Ya me puedo dar prisa o me va a comer. ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Estás bien? Sí, pero creo que me he roto una pierna. Voy a intentar levantarme a ver si puedo. ¡Ay, no! Oh, la tengo rota. 
¿Quién me mandaría a meterme en este trabajo? Me llamo Paco y soy albañil en paro. Empecé a hacer el troll por internet y le cogí el gustillo. Un buen día un tipo me ofreció dinero por hacer el troll en su cueva y lo acepté. ¡Ayúdame, por favor! ¡Solo estaba bromeando! Well, we'll just leave poor Paco, the bricklayer turned internet troll turned troll in real life to die because we get a tire to find in a junkyard. That's right through this cave. ¡Estás atrapado, pringao! So for whatever reason, our hero can't jump into the junkyard and grab the tire he sees there. Instead, he just decides to go back home and grab a tire he saw lying around there. So yeah, this whole adventure to Stinky Island was utterly and completely pointless. But on the plus side, at least we're leaving Paco the bricklayer turned internet troll turned actual troll to die with a broken leg down in a deep dark hole. Oh boy guys, what do you think he's gonna die of? Exposure, starvation, dehydration, or maybe his broken leg will get infected. Oh, we're a fabulous and wonderful protagonist. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Alright, so we snagged the tire in the pool, and oh yeah, Igor can sing a song for you guys. Who here likes the Little Mermaid? Bajo el mar, bajo el mar, vivo contento, siempre comiendo, soy feliz. Me tiro pedo sin parar, chinchando a Xavi para variar, mientras los otros siempre pensando en mojar. <laughs> that was beautiful. I felt touched in places I didn't even know I had. So anyway, now we have the tire because basically we threw a rope with an anchor on it through the tire that was in the pool and then we take it and place it in the car and oh, looky here. Oh, we got a cutscene of the FMV variety to enjoy. I'm glad they blurred out the license plates on these cars because that Mercedes hatchback and that Ford whatever must feel a great deal of shame being shot in this video. Oh vaya, el bebé se ha atrevido a venir. ¿Alguien ha traído los pañales? ¡Me te meto, primo! Para, 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 quieto, quieto. Nos vemos en la meta, de Bernardo. Ah, muy buena jefe. The Fast and the Furious doesn't have anything on damn virgins. Bruno, you look like pure sex. That's his name, right? I'm sorry, I'm just distracted by this day for night scene and his long ladylike locks. Ooh, he needs to be in a poison tribute band. Whoa, guys, don't speed up your footage too much. You might give us some whiplash. Oh, hey, look, it's the booger eating professor. He's back again. I wonder what's going to happen to him as our drivers cautiously drive past him. <laughs> Well, we've killed again, just added to our list of sins we've committed throughout this game. Well, that position actually looks pretty comfortable. But nevertheless, we're at the end of the game. I know, seriously. So let's enjoy it together, shall we?
Todos mis sueños de ser un científico destruidos por un pequeño accidente. ¿Pequeño? ¡Habéis matado a un hombre! ¿Yo? Yo, yo soy el mecánico. Mis cálculos sean perfectos. La culpa es del piloto. ¿Ah, sí? Pues espero que sepas calcular la tabla del 5 cuando entres en la cárcel. ¿Cárcel? No, no puedo entrar en la cárcel. ¿Sabes lo que les hace reír a los blanquitos como yo? Va, no te quejes. Si aquí yo está lleno de pesas, ya me gustaría entrar a mí. No te preocupes, Leonardo. Os iremos a ver cada viernes. Después del vis a -vis con las presas. No, 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 no. No, tiene que haber una solución. Ya sé. Puedo construir la máquina del tiempo y teletransportarme el día de la carrera. Seems like someone's been playing Day of the Tentacle. ¿Qué será? ¡Oh no! ¡El FBI! ¡Te viene a por mí! ¡En la cabeza no! ¡Que soy hemofílico! ¿Qué haces en el suelo, perdedor? Levanta. ¿Y mi pasta? ¿Dónde está mi pasta? ¡Proteínas! ¡Mis proteínas! ¿Qué pasa aquí? ¿Qué le has dicho a tu preciosa cara? Pero a ellos. ¿Qué pasa aquí? ¿Qué estáis haciendo? ¡A mi niño! ¡Fuera! ¡Ay, mis niños! ¡Ay, mis niños! ¡Ay, qué tal estáis! ¿Estáis bien? ¿Qué ha pasado? Contáselo todo, Tito. Xavi y Bernardo hicieron una carrera ilegal de coches para ganar dinero e irnos a México. ¡Una carrera! Pero, pero Xavi acabó atropellando al señor Monarro y ahora está muerto. ¿Muerto? Ay, 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 ¡Qué ironía! ¿Por qué ironía? Ironía, bueno, son cositas mías. Es que le pensaba despedir. ¡Pero bueno! ¡Estás cachísima! Sí. ¡Has estado haciendo sí. pesas! ¡Ay, qué fuertes y qué lindos! Sí. Sí. Pero habrá que llamar a la policía. ¿Para qué? No, si vengo de casa del profesor y está perfectamente, no te preocupes. Pero si lo dejamos tullido. Yo mismo escuché los huesos romper. ¿Cómo se puede haber recuperado tan pronto? Eh, eh, la, la medicina ha avanzado mucho estos años. Las eh, células madre y esas cosas... Bueno, el caso es que está perfectamente, no os preocupéis. Además me ha dicho que os perdona y que ya habéis sufrido demasiado, así que os aprueba. Así que... ¡Nos vamos a México, eh! Yeah. ¡Vamos! Yeah. ¡Vamos! Yeah. ¡Vamos! Yeah. ¡Ay, cómo lo vamos a pasar! ¡Ay, ay, vamos, vamos, vamos! Yeah. 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 Eh, ¡Espera! ¿Cuatro, siete, nueve, siete, ocho? ¡Me falta uno! ¿Dónde está Hugo? ¡Hugo! Oh, yeah, hey, I'm still here. Now we get to meet the mysterious Hugo, who throughout the game you don't know who is. I wonder who he could be. Yeah, that Mormon looking guy, he's Hugo. Who would have thunk it? ¿Mm? ¿Por qué cada vez que nos reunimos todos os reís de esa manera? Well, I hope the guy didn't write that in permanent marker, because otherwise that's going to be hell to wash off. So, the sense... Oh, wait a minute, there's more. Oh, look, the professor's perfectly all right. Well, that's the end of Damn Virgins, a game that was about a guy who ultimately didn't have to do anything to end up going to Mexico. Because it didn't matter if we passed the exam or not. It didn't matter if we won the drag race or not. Because our Uncle Dean whoever guy is going to take us to Mexico anyway to be sacrificed. How wonderful for us. Okay, the credits are rolling now. Let's have some honest talk now, guys. Damn Virgins is a pretty weird game. It's fun, it's campy, and we'll never see a sequel to it, most likely. But I enjoyed it. It's an obscure little weird indie Spanish FMV game. I don't think there's too many of them, nor will there be very many in the future, so let's enjoy this one for the oddity it is. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in between, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good evening. I'm out of here. Goodbye.